Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack. And you know what? There's a really special holiday coming up that I'm really excited about and you should be excited about it too. Do you guys know what it is? It's not Christmas. Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day and you should too. Today we're at this place. Do you guys see what that says? Yeah, we're at Pinspiration in Kingwood, Texas, and we're about to go in here and get really creative. Do you guys like doing art? I do, and I'm gonna learn some really cool art projects that we can do here at Pinspiration in Kingwood, Texas. Come on, let's go check it out. All right, wow, what a really cool place. Take a look around in here. We've got all kinds of art projects that we can do. I mean, you look at the walls and it's just jam packed with activities that all kinds of people have done. They have art projects for big kids, little kids, adults, parents, grandparents, anything you could imagine. And it's a whole lot of fun because they have all the supplies here for you. I mean, look at some of these recent projects. Whoa, I see something that Cowboy Caden would really love. There's a brontosaurus, a pterodactyl, and even a big volcano erupting with lava. Whoa, man. Well, since it's Valentine's Day, I wanna do some artwork that's all about Valentine's Day. And you know what Valentine's is full of? Hearts, because that's a special time of year when we tell everybody how much we love and appreciate them. So they have this room here where you can do splatter paint. Have you guys ever done splatter paint before? I have, but it's been a long time. But they have a special room just for splatter paint. So I wanna make this heart shape that's gonna have splatter all around it and you guys are gonna help me. Come on, let's go get it started. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Well, see, here I am at one of the activity tables and there's this big canvas for me. Have you guys ever seen a canvas before? It's this flat surface that you can, wow, that sounds really cool. So this is canvas stretched over a wooden frame. You see that? And so it's really tight so we can draw on it, paint on it and do whatever. And it makes a really cool piece of art that we can hang on the wall when we're done with it. But today this is gonna be my splatter paint art. So I'm gonna sit down here and I'm gonna draw something just for Valentine's and we're gonna splatter paint right over it. So what do you guys think we should draw for Valentine's Day? I think we should do a heart. It'd be a whole lot of fun. Now I'm just gonna freehand draw this heart, okay? You guys come take a look real close. I'm not the best artist, but if you're not good at something, what do you do to get better? Practice makes perfect. So anyways, I'm gonna get started with my heart. There's one side of it. Look at that. I just drew that all by myself and I think it came out great. <laughs> So when we splatter paint, we're flicking paint all over the place and it'll get everywhere. But I wanna make my heart white so that we could write something on it when it's done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, this is called masking tape, and I'm gonna mask off the inside of this heart. Now, that may sound like kinda hard to do, but like I said, practice makes perfect. So we just gotta, see, I'm putting the tape along that line I drew, and whoops. Now I'm just gonna keep going until all this is done. How do you guys think I'm doing with my taping? <laughs> I've never done this before, but you know, like everything, we just keep on trying and trying and trying. And it doesn't have to be Perfect. This is going to be splatter paint, so it may have a few rough edges, but that's just part of the art. Look at that. If you look at it from far away, you can almost see my heart all the way outlined. I'm getting closer to finished. Now I gotta finish the bottom point and then we'll be all done.
All right, guys. Well, now that I've got the whole outline done, I need to fill in the inside so we make sure we don't get splatter paint in there. I made a couple of pieces already so we can start doing this. All right, guys, now see, I've got this almost all taped up and it's all colored in blue because it's covered in that tape. Now, whenever we put that, hey, what are you guys laughing about? <laughs> Artwork can get kind of messy sometimes. Anyways, my heart's all ready for the splatter room, see? Take a look at that. So that's a pretty good heart. I mean, that's the first heart I've ever taped and I think I did a pretty good job. What do y'all think? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say you said yes, it looks good. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna take this over to the splatter room and see what kind of damage we can do with splatter paint. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun, come on. All right, well the splatter room can be kind of a messy place, and so I gotta put on some protective gear to keep me all clean. I wouldn't wanna get paint on this pretty nice vest, right guys? <laughs> all right, so what's first? First, you're gonna take your boots off. Ooh, you're okay. Put on these tall booties. I can do that. Let's see. Boy, these are style. These are gonna be all the rage, aren't they? Yes. Wow. That's the best part. Well. Besides the paint. <laughs> We're gonna be setting some new trends with styles today, guys. Everybody's gonna be so jealous of my new bag socks. All right, then you have to take your hat off. Uh-oh. Hey, wait a second. Are you guys laughing at my hair? I gotta put on a cap, okay? <laughs> All right. This on, cover the hair around the front of your face. Perfect. Whoa. How does it look? <laughs> Now we're going to get you in this very fancy poncho. Uh, let's see here. Um, straight out. All right, check this out. So this is called a poncho. Not to be confused with Willie Nelson's great song, Poncho and Lefty, actually written by Towns Van Zandt. You guys don't care about that. Let's do some splatter paint. Oh, goggles, right. okay. Don't protect your eyes. We're gonna put goggles on you. All right. I am all geared up and ready for splatter paint. It might get kind of messy. That's why we're all protected to keep our clothes nice and clean underneath. Let's go splatter. <laughs> wow. Look at this room, this room is fantastic. Guys, you gotta stop laughing at my outfit. This is to protect us from getting real dirty. Look at these walls, they've been all covered in splatter paint over the years. This is really cool. If you feel it, there's like paint chips right there. Let's see. Look at that, that's some of the paint that came right off of the walls. That is so cool. All right, well look, here's my canvas with my heart on it and we're gonna splatter all over it. But you guys want to see something really cool about this room? It's not just a regular splatter paint room. I mean, sometimes you use glow in the dark paints. Look up, there's a disco ball up there. And there's also some black lights. So when I turn off this light, we're gonna see some glowing paint on the walls. Look at that. Wow, that orange is really bright. But check this out, guys, looky here. This is a jar of that really cool glow-in-the-dark paint. It says neon on it right there. You use this to make a glow-in-the-dark artwork piece. You even have pink that glows in the dark. That is so cool. Wow. Now, I'm not using glow-in-the-dark paint, but I just wanted to show you guys this stuff because it's so unique. All right, well, let's get those lights back on. All right. Well, I'm all geared up. I'm in the splatter paint room. Let's do some splatter paint. I've got my red paint here and I'm all set up. It's go time. You ready? So to splatter paint, you just take paint on the brush. <laughs> it's kind of loud in here because of all this plastic poncho we're wearing. 
to keep our clothes safe, but it's really loud. Anyways, here we go. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> We're just splattering red all over the place. Wow, that was a big glob right there. <laughs> now I can see why we wear this protective clothing. <laughs> This is some of the most fun art I've ever made. Let's get plenty of red on there and then we'll come back with the pink and then we'll finish up with white. <laughs> I mean, that looks like modern art. <laughs> Whoa. Now, look at this. I've got some pink paint. Another great Valentine's color. Whoa, that was a really good splatter. <laughs> Be careful, don't get paint on you. This is so cool. I have never done this before. And I mean, it's coming out fantastic. I think it's coming out really good. I gotta make sure we get good coverage because the canvas underneath is white. And when we take that paint off, I mean that tape off of our heart, we wanna make sure we can see it really good. <laughs> wow. This is one, you know, you would never do this at home because you'd get paint all over your parents' kitchen. That wouldn't be good, would it? But you come to a place like Pinspiration right here in Kingwood and you can have all the fun you want because they're prepared for this kind of mess. This is what this place is made for. Get a little bit more pink up in that corner there. Now I'm getting fancy with it. All right, well now let's put a little bit of white on it. Then I'll come back with one more coat of red. Whoa. Golly, what a mess. Good thing we're in this splatter room. All right, guys, let's finish up with a healthy dose of red paint. And I'm gonna make sure I try to get it all around the heart so it shows up really good. Can't get it right where I want it. <laughs> all right, you guys think that's good? I do, I think it looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and call it quits. All right, you might wanna take one more good look at me here because I'm not gonna have this uniform on for much longer. It sure is unique. <laughs> All right, well, wow, I'm glad I got that poncho off now and I'm back in my normal gear. My hat's back on, hair's not looking great, but I'm gonna cover it up. And see, it's on this drying rack now. And so we're gonna let this all dry. There's big globs of thick paint on there because we were flinging it on pretty hard. And now she's gonna set this in a drying rack to dry for two to three days. And then we can come back and peel that paint off and we'll see our really cool painting we made. Well, boy, that was such a fun project. They've got so many different things you can do here. I mean, look at all the supplies they have. I mean, there's jars full of puzzle pieces. What could you make with that? anything all kinds of buttons wine corks uh, all kinds of ribbon but there's all kinds of wooden things you can use like if it was halloween time you could color a bat even a spider Ooh, cowboy caden really likes spiders Woo. <laughs> man look at these supplies check this out this is really cool this says U.S. Army. 
Well, that's really nice. You know, a lot of people serve in the Army to help keep us safe and protect our freedoms. That's really important. It's kind of like we always say, whenever you see someone in uniform, you tell them thank you for your service, right? Well, if you saw somebody wearing this, you would definitely want to tell them thank you for their service. Whoa. Look what I found. Here's some hearts just like we're talking about for Valentine's Day. That looks so great. You could paint something like that and have it say mom on there. <laughs> wow, hold on, hold on. All right, I found something that I really love. Even though it's Valentine's Day, look at that. The Lone Star State, the beautiful, great state of Texas, the best state in the union. That's so exciting. Wow, all right, well, you know what another kind of art they do here is called spin art. That's where you put a piece of paper or some kind of device down and this table spins it really fast and you drop paint on it and it spins and splatters. It's not quite as messy as the splatter paint we just did. It's a whole nother kind. You guys want to give that a try? Come on. All right, guys, well, this is the fun spinner. See that right there? It says the fun spinner. And what this is, this is a machine. You open this up right here and we'll put a piece of paper down in this holder right here. And this machine's gonna spin it really fast. We'll close the lid and then we'll drop paint on there to make a really cool design. All right, so what happens next? All right, so we're gonna put the card in. Close it. I'm gonna turn it on for you. Okay. And you're just gonna take and tip and wherever you squirt, the paint's gonna go. So you're gonna move back and forth. All right. Get your empty spots and you're just gonna give a little squeeze. Okay. Well, I think I ought to use a little bit of blue. That's Cowboy Caden's favorite color, and it's dark blue too. Let's see here. Whoa, <laughs> it was really spinning. Look at that, that's really neat. Whoop, maybe that's too far. Well. And then we can stop and show them what the blue looks like. All right, yeah. Green switch on the back. Let's see what that looks like. Look at that, that's really neat. See, it took that paint and it spread it out really far. But now that I use Cowboy Caden's favorite color, I kind of want to use my favorite color because I see it right here, orange. Whoa. Looks like we've got some really cool things happening in there. Let's slow it down and take a look. Look at that. Hold on, I'm just gonna open this lid so we can get a real good look at it. That's so cool because that's a mixture of mine and Cowboy Caden's favorite colors all on the same piece of art. Wow, well I think we ought to throw some green on there, don't you? I think green would be fantastic. Now we're getting kind of crazy with it. How about a little bit of yellow while we're at it? All right, let's take a look and see what that looks like. We'll let it spin for just a second so it really spreads out. Whoa, look at that, that's so cool. I don't know exactly what it looks like. It kind of looks like a big bug splat or something, but it's really cool. And I love, you can see all these different colors. I see blue, yellow, green, orange. Wow. Well, that was really fun. We'll go let that dry while we do one more project. All right, guys. Well, we've got everything set up here to do an ink tile. Have you guys ever heard of an ink tile before? Let me sit down and I'll talk, tell you all about it. So this is just a regular piece of tile, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it down. This is a sterile alcohol pad, and we're gonna use that to wipe this down and get it wet. And then these are special inks that you drop on there and it kind of spreads out really cool. You guys ready? Let's go ahead and get into it. So, if I can open it. <laughs> Here's my alcohol pad, and I'm gonna wipe this down and get it all wet. Right, so that's done. Now, I wanna pick a color. Look at this, what color is this? I think it's called, this is called Fiesta. That sounds fun, I like Fiestas. 
whoa, I didn't know it was gonna drop like that. That's really cool. And see, it's kind of pink and purpley, just like Valentine's Day. Whoa, look at that. It really kind of grows once you drop it on there because I'm dropping a little tiny drop. That was really neat. Now I see a red color. That's one of my other favorite Valentine's Day colors. This one says red pepper on it. I like red peppers as long as they're not too hot. <laughs> Whoop. If you get up real close to it, you can see how the edges kind of grow. That's really fun to watch. Now, I know it's Valentine's Day, but I saw this color, it's called Stream. It looks like a really nice blue color. We ought to give it a try anyways. Whoa, there goes Stream. Look at that, it's blending together with that Fiesta pink color. That's making a really unique mixture, that's cool. Hmm citrus color. Why not? Whoop, citrus kind of came out of, out of there quickly. I like that citrus color. That's a really fun color. Kind of looks like it would be green, but then it kind of fades into more of a yellow color. Wow. And see, it's just kind of all spreading together, blending together, and making really cool colors. I'm gonna see if I can, wow, it's still growing. Let's see if I can get this all covered up with color. <laughs> that was really cool. So we've got a mixture of all these different colors and now my ink tile is all covered up with color. I mean, there's still a few white spots, but I think it adds to it, don't you? I mean, it kind of looks like, hey, wait a second, <laughs> you guys, take a look at this. If you use your imagination, it almost looks like a hummingbird, doesn't it? What does it look like to you? I can see a few different things, but that kind of looks like a hummingbird's eye, and then it's beak over here, and see, he's sitting on a log or something? That's really fun. <laughs> Wait, hummingbird, I don't see it anymore. That's the great thing about your imagination is you can use it to think up whatever you can imagine. That was really fun. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, this has been such a fun time here at Pinspiration in Kingwood, Texas. We got to make all kinds of fun artwork and that splatter paint isn't quite dry yet, so I'm not gonna pick it up and show you, but we made that heart because we're here for Valentine's Day and we just love Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorite holidays. It's that special time of year when you tell all the people that you love and care about how much you appreciate them. So make sure you show your appreciation for all your friends, family, mom, dad, little brother, little sister, big brother, big sister, everybody. It's been a whole lot of fun here today. We got to do all these art projects together and I'm glad you were here with me. I want you to make sure to click subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube and that way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we have a lot of them. And Parents, if you need a special birthday shout out or anything like that for your cowboy or cowgirl, make sure to check us out on Cameo or Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, all of those things. All right, guys, well, thank you for hanging out with me today. And if you enjoyed these projects and you live in the area, make sure to check out uh, Pinspiration in Kingwood, Texas. You can look them up on Facebook. We'll put the link right below and you can come here and do some of these awesome art projects yourself. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, well, it's time for me to hit the hot and dusty trail. So like always, until next time, yeah!